Good morning. Hmm. Even such a trivial interaction fills me with motivation. Amazing. I've been growing thanks to your constant guidance. Believe me, I won't forget your kindness. And my feelings toward you are not only of gratitude. But anyway, let's celebrate the next holiday together. Next time, I don't want to hear, oh right, Ito wants to help. I want to hear, darn right, Ito wants to help. Got it? Don't worry. As long as he is still in this world, the two of you will meet again. That's if I have a say in the matter. As a fellow Outlander, I won't let you do this alone. I'll be ready to help whenever you need me. I figured out what I want to do now. My strength is your shield, and I will always be here to protect you. <sighs> you know, you're so smart it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. You don't need to worry about me being overworked. People tend to find work draining if they haven't yet discovered what they are trying to protect. I, at least, don't have this problem. You've known me for some time now. I think you understand my personality, don't you? Knowing me, I just know that today could not have been such a happy day without you. I not understand, but feels warm. Like, like blanket, soft, warm. This is mother feeling? Mother is also Lupicol, very good. I'm in the habit of working alone, but I did enjoy having your assistance this time. In the future, if there's anything you ever need, you can come to me for help. <sighs> I wish I could stay here a while longer. The more time you spend somewhere, the more joy it brings you when you return. You're like the stars in the night sky, comrade. You never cease to surprise me. Just one last thing before I go. I feel strangely comforted by the fact you now have an assistant, T. Luke. I hope you all have a wonderful night.